The United States of America has been the most dominant force in gymnastics in the 21st century. They have produced some of the biggest names in the discipline, won multiple world and Olympic titles, and overall pushed the level of the sport. When talking about the vault greats, names like Alicia Sacramoni, Michaela Maroney, and Simone Biles are foremost in one's thoughts. All of them are well-known world champions on this apparatus, with Maroney and Biles even winning it twice in a row, and the latter being an Olympic vault champion. But one name often forgotten is 2009 world champion Kayla Williams, the first American woman ever to win the vault title. Kayla began 2009 as a level 10 gymnast, but transitioned to elite halfway through the year. Her first meet as an elite athlete, the 2009 CoverGirl Classic, in which she won both the vault and floor titles, served as a qualifier for the national championships in August. Williams won the vault title at nationals once again and became part of the senior national team. Less than two months later, Kayla was one of the four athletes named to the team for the 2009 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships. Even though the American gymnast had no international experience, her good results throughout the season proved to the selection committee she could be a real contender for a vault medal. This selection was purely based on potential individual results, as there was no team event at these world championships. Kayla was an all-around gymnast, but she was only chosen to compete in her two strongest events at the World Championships, vault and floor. She led the qualifications on vault with a 14.812 average score, against defending Olympic champion Eun Jong Hong's 14.787. However, Williams missed the floor final by only half a tenth, placing ninth behind her teammate Rebecca Bross. She was the first reserve for the final. Nevertheless, her best chance for a medal was in the vault event, and she did not disappoint. Kayla outperformed herself from the qualification round and clutched the gold medal with an average score of 15.087, more than five-tenths ahead of the second-place finisher. She executed a Rudy as her first vault, consisting of a front handspring onto the vaulting table, followed by one and a half twists in a layout position. The American gymnast scored a 15.2, the highest score in the final. For her second vault, Kayla had to showcase a different entry, as required in this event final. She chose a double twisting Yurchenko, which consists of a round off back handspring to a layout with two twists. She absolutely excelled in this performance, spawning the best execution score of the day, a 9.175. She not only stuck the landing, but also finished precisely in the center of the mat. With the first and third best scores of the final, Kayla Williams delivered a gold medal worthy performance and cemented her name in the history books as the first American gymnast to win the vault title. Despite having notable success as a senior elite gymnast, winning four gold medals in the span of three months, Kayla's time in elite lasted for about a year. She did not take part in a major meet following the 2009 World Championships and officially retired from the highest level of the sport in July of 2010. In May of the same year, Williams had already committed to the University of Alabama a team she helped claim a second consecutive NCAA national championship as a freshman in 2012. Individually, she won bronze on vault as a senior and eventually graduated with a bachelor's degree in public relations. Despite us seeing very little of her, Kayla absolutely thrived during her short elite career. She skyrocketed from level 10 to the top of the international scene and made history while doing it.